Let's news. Destiny 2 update 7.2.5. Activities. Crucible. Fix multiple out of bounds areas on multiplex. Disabled Icarus Dash while using the Aegis Shield in the Crucible Relic game mode. Fix an issue where Sparrows could be used on multiplex. Again, that's the new map, guys. I don't know if y'all seen it. I, they actually let it fly for a bit, but you could run around and use the Sparrow. It's pretty cool. Trials of Osiris. Meltdown. Made some adjustments to the Dominion Zone and the heavy ammo spawn positions. This, especially like heavy ammo spawn, like it was hugely advantageous from one position to the next. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to put it back to like what old comp heavy ammo spawn position was. Raid and Dungeon. Root of Nightmares. Encounter challenges are now active. Wrath of Avarice. Players no longer lose additional ability charge when acquiring 10 burden by riches. Now, seasonal activities. It's an issue where the Lacuna card would suppress players after eliminating a band with a weapon with Repulsor Brace. It's an issue where the Victory Lab Braziers and Deep Sides that have been interacted with disappeared before newly joining players could interact with them. Fix the missing speaker name for the holographic message subtitles. All right, now open world. Fix an issue that caused a small number of players to be granted owned exotics from Legend and Master Lost sectors and from Vex Strike Force instead of unowned ones. So, all right, so fix an issue that caused small number of players to be granted owned exotics. It's supposed to be giving you exotics you do not own, especially Vex Strike Force. It's a, it's a great way to just check off those exotics that you do not have. Everyone was asking how we got Pyro Gale day one. It was because of Vex Strike Force, even though it wasn't in the rotation for Lost Sectors. All right, gameplay and investment, armor and expressions. Exotic armor. Uh, Antaeus Wars, Reflect Events now requires full class ability to deploy. Following the activation of Reflect Events, your class ability energy is drained proportional to the amount of damage reflected. It no longer provides an improved slide. We are going to be testing this, guys. We've got pre and post testing for this, but we're going to be looking at this week just to see like how big of a nerf it is. I, I hope it is substantial enough because it is busted. Uh, but we want to see things like does it roll over? Does the damage roll over and actually do damage to you? Things like that. All right. Young Comcar Spine. Reduce the trip mine grenades, increase HP 270, down from 100, and remove the bonus 50% damage resistance. Grenade energy is now provided on ability kills instead of damage with abilities. You have to get the kill. And I know that is a huge nerf, the Homcar Spine. We do have pre-testing on this. We will give you post-testing to see like how much of an issue this is, especially in PvE. But we'll take a look at it. Now, Foe Tracer no longer grants max surge bonus on Glaive and Sword kills. Interesting. Icefall Mano fix an issue where players spawn without class ability energy in the Crucible. Yeah. As side verse, description has been updated to better match its functionality. Path of Burning Steps, fix an issue. We're having the exotic perk active wouldn't change its appearance. It's supposed to have that white glow effect come up, right? And then Pyro Gale Gauntlets updated the exotic perk description to match its gameplay. I, I'm going to have to look at that, by the way. Let me see. We're, we're in game right now. Let's see what Pyro Gale says. Modifies Burning Maw into a single. High damage slam of your hammer that creates several cyclones of flame. Consecration second slam creates a cyclone flame. So before, didn't it say it gave you five cyclones right so it gave you like a number and it obviously didn't give you five it gave you three so we were all hoping that it was actually performing in a nerf state and it was going to be much stronger but it doesn't appear so it appears that it has actually been working as it's always been and now it just says create several cyclones of flame so what that really means by that guys is that by no means are we going to suddenly get two more cyclones of flame it's three and it will stay at three it's still a good exotic it's still a good exotic guys now general fix an issue where the photonic vest was not available in the armor to the screen. Uh, fix an issue with the hinterland. Biosphere Explorer and Osserary Ritual Armor sets dropped with lower than intended stats. The Valkyrian Mass Hunter Helmet is lo no longer has a hole in it. And fix an issue that caused the new Ritual Armor to drop with low stats. Now, weapons and accessories, weapon tuning, submachine guns, general, increase recoil globally by 10%. Also, reduce the massive keyboard stability bonus from 20% to 10 percent um this is very much targeted at mouse and keyboards but this is affecting everyone especially that with that recoil globally we will be showing that this week now auto rifles rapid fire reduce the aim down side damage fall off scaler from 1.7 to 1.6 adaptive also did the same thing from 1.7 to 1.6 but they actually increased base damage from 14.25 to 15 and it decreased uh critical hit multiplier from 1.6 to 1.55 i know it doesn't make sense but essentially crit damage has gone up from 22.8 to 23.3 Yes, 600 should be performing a lot better this week. Now, Precision reduced the ADS damage fall off scaler from 1.7 to 1.6, so a range nerf, but they also reduced the zoom on AM and AR4 from 17 to 15. Uh, Pulse Rivals General increased damage fall off range at zero stat by one meter. 
aggressives increase the ads damage scaler to 1.8 so again this is for the first time ever but aggressive pulse rifles will be matching or even exceeding high impact pulse rifles fusion rifles general reduce the minimum damage fusions can deal after damage fall off from 50 percent to 45 percent sniper rifles general decrease the airborne accuracy penalty by 20 percent sniper rifles are now as accurate at base as they were before ae with icarus grip now aggressive decreased body shot damage this is across the board from 157.5 to 135 and increased critical hit multiplier uh from 3 to 3.5 now adaptives they also decreased body shot damage from 131 to 119 but they increased critical hit multiplier from 2.95 to 3.25 which should ensure one shot crit kills on all even like the, the highest resist supers out there now rapid fire decreased body shot damage from 90 to 85 and increased critical hit multipliers from 3.25 to 3.45 shotguns general decrease the ae accuracy penalty for precision slug shotguns by 20 percent slug shotguns are now as accurate at base as they were pre-ae with icarus grip they also decrease the airborne pellet spread penalty for pellet shotguns by 20 percent uh, the main takeaway for this guy is chaperone and you know, we'll be testing this week but chaperone should be feeling a lot better uh same as like duality right should be feeling a lot better again they're basing this slug shotguns are now as accurate as they were pre-ae with an icarus grip so this is this is just gonna roll over should theoretically roll over to be a all-around net buff for exotic shotguns now checkmate weapon tuning pulse rifles decrease bonus damage very slightly to decrease some resiliency forgiveness critical to body shot ratio threshold by one tier this does not shift optimal time to kill against base resilience for any pulse rivals. Now, hand cannons increase bonus damage slightly to remove the resiliency threshold that shifts optimal time to kill for adaptive 140 round per minute hand cannons. Adaptive hand cannons will again kill all resilience levels with three crits. This is adaptive. However, they will lose the ability to kill with three shots sooner into damage fall off than in standard crucible. How quickly that happens will still depend on the resilience of the opponent. So it seems like the damage fall off uh, or, or, at least the damage you're just doing enough damage to get the three tap right but the moment they step out of range you're not going to get the three tap it's going to be a four tap which obviously throws our ttk up everyone was wondering last week when they said that because they said in general like they said all hand cannons it sounded like all hand cannons no 180s are not going to be able to three tap now weapon perks perfect float increase base duration from six to ten seconds increase extended duration from seven to twelve seconds kickstart reduce damage bonus from 20 to 50 percent enhance heal clip now heals allies when when reloading after a kill uh some general stuff guys modify the description on how to obtain the intrinsic perks for crafted demon's tail and what each of them unlocks fix an issue where the defiant ghost projection was not showing the right image fix an issue where the word of crow to hand can could be crafted with unintended magazine perks fix an issue where the cataphract geo 3 grenade launcher was still showing grenades in its magazine when empty fix an issue where the tessellation was appearing vision when combined with certain armor pieces fix an issue where tessellation could reload its alternative fire mode an unlimited number of times all right there goes the cheese in combination with gunpowder gamble or are rewarded fix an issue where the aggressive frame sword airborne heavy attack required full energy and did not start the energy recharge delay now abilities stram warlock fix an issue where the wanderer tangles didn't suspend champions now seasonal artifact fix an issue where the tangles created using the danototic tangle seasonal perk had a longer cooldown than intended fix an issue where the unstoppable fusion seasonal perk would incorrectly activate on linear fusion rifles damn damn bunch really I thought that was just a feature at this point. Vendor focusing. Reduce the price of exotic armor tier two focusing. We saw that just now, guys. The tier two focusing does not require a cipher. Beautiful. I mean, I, I run over here. Run over here right now. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you this. The beautiful thing for my people that are actually wanting to focus these, these, I mean, you see all the exotic Ingrams I have. But tier two focusing, boom. The Ingram, Glimmer, and an Ascendant Shard. And you've got double loot this week for Nightfalls. So it's good i've been saving all these exotic rooms for this moment uh player identity fix an issue where guardian rank objectives were displayed as completed before the player reached the rank required to claim them Fix a spelling error on seasonal challenges objective for guardian rank six the luminous paragon sparrow from guardian games is now available in collections ui ux favorited ornaments no longer act chaotically and then some general fixes here we have fixed an issue where players could send whisper messages and text chat to recipients who cannot read the message due to having restricted message settings players will now get an error when sending a message to someone who cannot receive it wow so they're not they're not feeling like they're left on red fixed an issue where text chat whisper commands would fail to open the text chat channel in certain cases fix missing subtitle for cades coughing and forsaken opening cinematic cough updated the quest icon for the grenade logic catalyst quest 
The refined reveal shader now correctly reflects its additional effects when viewed in Eververse, fixing an issue that was causing players to earn triumphs for certain Guardian game Vanguard medals when Guardian games is inactive, and fixing an issue where the learning light quest was not available to some players. All right, guys, that's your patch notes. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.